Hi, my name is Riel, and I'm in my last year of nursing school. In this video, you'll learn a step-by-step -step process on how to apply to competitive nursing schools with over 600 applicants. So, first step is to search your state of choosing, NCLEX, BRN, pass rates. Now, NCLEX is the board exam that you take to get your license, and BRN is where you apply for your license. And so when you search, for example, Arizona and collects BRN pass rates, I have a link down below of Arizona and California. And once you do this, you'll see a list of nursing schools within your state of choosing. And so the second step is to create a list of wants that you want in a nursing program. There's going to be a handful of nursing programs, and you can apply to all of them if you choose to, but if you have, if you don't have enough money to apply to all of them or don't have a lot of time to apply to all of them, this list of wants helps narrow down all the schools within your area. So your list of wants can be tuition, it can be a nursing program that emphasizes volunteering, um, a school that you want to be near, friends and family. Your main goal is to become a nurse. And in order to do that, you have to do well on your board exam. So that's why it was my first step to look at the NCLEX pass rate for your school. You don't want to end up going to school that has a low NCLEX pass rate because it makes it harder for you to reach your end goal. And so the next step is research. Research is going to be time consuming and quite honestly, it can be discouraging. So I'm going to break it down to community colleges, state colleges, and private schools. Majority of community colleges and state universities go off the point system. However, there are some community colleges that go by lottery system. And lottery system is where they just have a bunch of applicants and they just pick random people. State universities are broken down into GPA and your TEAS test. And TEAS test is the essential academic skills. Sorry, I had to look at that. Test of essential academic skills. Um, it's quite a handful to say, so I'm just going to call it the TEAS test. A majority of nursing programs want your TEAS test to be 80 or higher. That was when I was applying around in 2014. I did look up San Francisco State University. Now they wanted a 78 or higher. I apologize for looking down. I It's hard to memorize all this. I already have all this nursing information in here. Um, but I hope that it gives you kind of an idea of what state universities want in their TEAS test. So San Francisco State University is 78 or higher. And when I was applying, majority of the state universities wanted 80 or higher. Now, just a quick overview, the TEAS test is English, science, stuff that you learn in prerequisites that you will take into the nursing program. I'm using Cal State status list as an example of how state universities use the point system. Cal State status list was my first choice in my want list of nursing schools. However, I didn't get in but they are a great example. Cal State Stanislaus separates their point system into your overall prerequisites GPA, your science GPA, which is human anatomy, human physiology, chemistry, your non-science GPA, psychology and English, etc., and your TEAS test. Now we've already discussed the TEAS test. Something I really want to emphasize is you should do really well on your core science GPA majority of community colleges, Cal State colleges, universities, private schools look at your science GPAs and your TEAs. Now let's move on to private schools. 
every private school has its own application process. That's why research is really essential to pick the schools that you want in your area. Private schools can request an essay, an interview process, an extra critical thinking exam. The school I got into actually had all three. They had three of us in one interview process just because they had so many applicants. One thing I really want nursing school applicants to be aware of with private schools is you have to check its accreditation. Now down below I have a website where you can check the accreditation within your state. Because you don't want to be paying all this money and then find out that your school gets closed down because they don't have their accreditation to continue running. I have had a friend who went to a private school and it shut down while she was in the middle of her program. So when you're applying to private school, it's definitely something to be wary about. I hope it doesn't discourage any one of you who wants to apply to nursing school and you feel like private school is your last choice. I go to a private school. I made sure it was accredited before I applied and I'm about to graduate. So let's move on to a final category that's kind of different. This category is for current LVN students. Now a majority of community colleges in some Cal states have an LVN RN bridge. And the good thing is, is that it has less applicants. And, but it, however, it does require you to have your LVN license. The good news is it's less applicants. Because for example, Cal State LA, for those just regular applicants, it can range from 600 to 700 applicants. And I have proof by a link down below that has a list of how many people are applying. Cal State's dentist list, my top choice when I was applying, had 115 applicants just of last year. So that's why I think it's really essential to do your research so you know right away what they're expecting and what you can do to hit those benchmarks so that you are a ready applicant. So I feel like if I had the chance to do it all over again and apply to nursing school, which I really don't want to, you guys, nursing school is just as hard as everybody says it is, but if I were to do it again and I was a freshman in college or maybe I was a high school student and I was just so sure that nursing was for me, then I would apply to a vocational school and get my LVN license, get that one year of experience as an LVN, because let me tell you, as an RN nursing student, your, at least my experiences personally, have been limited. It depends on the nurse that you're following. Some let you do stuff and some don't because it's just so hectic and it's a busy day. So getting that one year LVN experience can really help you feel more comfortable as you go back to school and pursue your RN license. So again, if I were to do it over again, go to LVN school, do an LVN RN bridge because less competition and it's actually much cheaper. So that is an overview on how to apply to competitive nursing schools. I hope that this has helped you in your career, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.